Hello everyone, today we're going to install Windows Server 2016 on Windows 10. So let's begin. Double click on Bark Toolbox. Then click on New. The type, we're going to leave it as Microsoft Windows. The version, we're going to switch to Windows 2016. This is Windows, 26, uh, Windows Server 2016, 64-bit. I'm changing the location. We're going to Other this PC to the data drive. This is the, my folder where I'm going to store everything at. Uh, select the folder. I'm going to name it Windows Server 2016. Beautiful. Let's click Next. I'm going to keep everything by default. The memory size, this is 2 gigs. Perfect. The create a virtual hard disk, we're gonna leave it as it is, and it's gonna re the recommended size will be 50 gigs. That's fine. Click create. Um, this is gonna be left as it is. The is gonna be left as VDI. Click on next. Then that make allocation. That's fine. Beautiful. Next. Uh, the file location and size. All oh, this is good. And create. Click on start. Give it a moment. Then browse. Then we're going to add. And this is the 2016 version. I'm going to put it in the link in the comment section where I got the 2016 and 2019. And I believe you can get 2012. It's an eval copy. So we're going to open. Then we're going to scroll. Then we're going to choose, right, 2016, and then click Start. Let me close this section here. All right, that's fine. Give it a moment. It should be loading. Let me close this. Boom. All right. All right. Um, language, English, time, and currency. Format English and the US. That's fine. I'm going to keep everything by default. Um, click next and then click install. All right. Just be advised uh, this copy that I have right here is an eval copy that I got from Microsoft. All right. So for this section here, I'm going to put it, it doesn't really matter to me. This is just an eval copy. So I'm going to use put in data center. Right, desktop experience. You put it on this regular is going to be just this, the without the GUI. This is with the GUI. Uh, I'm going to click next. Uh, accept the license terms, and click next. We are not doing an upgrade. We are doing a custom. Leave everything as it is, and click next. During this part, I'm going to fast forward. Okay, um, so for this section here, it has to be a complex password. If you type in a simple password like this one, which is ABC123, right, it's not going to work, right? It has to be a complicated password going with an uppercase, lowercase symbol, and a number. So let me just type one in right here. Give me a moment. And then click finish. Ah, okay. Give me. A, let me try it one more time. Hopefully this works. All right. Yeah, I do apologize. Click finish. Hey, there you go. Beautiful. So we're gonna click here. Input the keyboard and insert Control Delete. You can also. Click on host delete. It will just trigger that command line. So let me type in the password that I did before and enter. Okay.
it doesn't look it's working and I click yes here all right and this is how you install Windows Server 2016 like comment and subscribe thank you for watching peace